Didn't see you there. Just picking some apples. Well, it's about that time, eh? All right. Oh, sorry about that. You know what they say about an apple a day. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, to start it out, we have lesson one, angles of polygons. And before we start this out, we need to know what polygons are and are not. Polygons are characterized by these three uh, characteristics. It is a closed figure made up of sides, line segments, and sides intersect at the endpoints. They do not intersect at the sides. So if we look over here in the not polygons, this right here is not a polygon because we see that it is open. Down here, this shape we all know, it is a circle, it's a shape, but it is not a polygon because it is not made up of sides. Line segments need to be straight. And this one right here, this is not a polygon also because look right here, they are intersecting at sides. Technically, this is like two polygons in one, but it is not one polygon because they intersect at the sides. This is also open, therefore not a polygon. Stars, diamonds, things like that, those are polygons. And on the back of your notes, you can even see that this right here says convex and concave polygons. So I'm just gonna brush on it right here really quick. So convex polygons are polygons that have the angles pointing out. So they're, um, the angle and the vertex are out. Where concave, if you think of the vertex or the angle, they're kind of like caved in on each other. So in other words, it like caved in. So let's start this out. If we look at our notes, we see a shape that looks very familiar because we just spent a whole unit talking about triangles. So let's see if we can fill this in based on our prior knowledge. So the number of sides a triangle has is three. The number of triangles here in this drawing, well, obviously there's one. The sum of the interior angles. If we remember, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. The measure of a regular interior angle. Now, when we say regular, what we mean is that all the side lengths are equal or congruent, and all the angles are equal or congruent. So, if we were to take our 180 degrees, which is the sum of the interior angle, and we were to, to divide it by the number of angles there are, we would get our regular interior angle. Therefore, 180 divided by three equals 60. And then we have the measure of our regular exterior angle. And you can draw it up on your triangle up there. I'm gonna draw it down here just so we can see a little bit bigger and so we can see what we're talking about. Now, if I were to take each side and extend it further out, we can see that I just created three new angles. And that is called a regular exterior angle. And we can find out what that measure is. And we, the way we find it is, we'll label that as X right now. We know that the regular interior angle is 60 degrees. And if we look at this right here, that is a straight line. What do we know about the angle of a straight line? It's 180 degrees. Therefore, we know that 180 minus our 60 has to be equal to our x, which in this case is going to be 120 degrees. And then if we see each one of these is 120 degrees, 120, 120, and 120, and there are three of them, three exterior angles, we can do three times 120 give us 360 degrees of regular exterior angles. All right, moving down on your notes, we see a four-sided polygon. And this right here is a quadrilateral. So the number of sides is four. The number of triangles may not look like there's any triangles, but every single polygon can be split into triangles. It's called triangulation, and this is how we do it. 
if we start at a vertex and we go to every non-adjacent vertex, we start creating triangles. So look, I start at the top here and I go straight down to this vertex here. Do you see how I just created one and two triangles within this four-sided polygon? That's called triangulation. You can do that with every single polygon. So the number of triangles is two. The sum of the interior angles, well, the sum of a triangle, interior angle, is 180. And how many triangles do we have? We have two. Therefore, we can do two times 180 to give us 360 degrees of interior angles. The measure of a regular interior angle, remember regular meaning all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent, we can take that sum of the interior angles and divide it by the number of angles. There are one, two, three, four. Therefore, I'm gonna do 360 divided by four to give me 90 degrees, which makes sense because these are all right angles, 90 degrees. Now the regular exterior angle, again, I'm gonna draw it down here just so we can make sure we really know what we're doing. I can extend each side further out, thus creating four new angles. And the way we find those angles is we know that it creates a straight line and this interior angle is, given right here, 90 degrees. So 180 minus my 90 is gonna be equal to 90. Therefore, this right here, right here and right here, those four are all 90 degrees. So all we did was took 180 minus our 90 to give us our 90. And then we notice that there are four exterior angles and all of them are 90 degrees. Therefore, four times 90 gives us 360 degrees. Our next polygon, we have a five-sided polygon, which is a pentagon. And to find the number of triangles, again, we're gonna do some triangulation. I'm gonna start at the top. You can start at any vertex that you want, but I'm gonna start just at the top and connect that vertex to every single non-adjacent vertex. So I'm gonna go down to this vertex, down to this vertex, and we see these two vertexes are adjacent to that one, so we're not gonna connect it. We see I have one, two, and three triangles within that five-sided polygon. To find the sum of the interior angles, we know each triangle is 180. There are three triangles. Therefore, three times 180 equals 540. The measure of a regular interior angle is going to be our 540, and then divided by the number of angles there are. Therefore, 540 divided by five, one, two, three, four, five, equals 108 degrees. That's the measure of a regular interior angle. Now, hopefully we understand how we're getting the exterior angle here. So we take our 180 and subtract our regular interior, giving us 72 in this case. And if each exterior angle is 72, and there are five of them, I can do five times 72 to give me 360 degrees. Kind of seeing a pattern here. All right, let's see if it continues. The number of sides here are six. The number of triangles, again, I'm going to draw a line to every non-adjacent vertex. I see I have one, two, three, and four triangles. The sum of the interior angles, four triangles, each one having 180. Therefore, four times 180 gives me 720 measure of a regular interior angle, take that 720 divided by the number of angles, which is going to be six. 720 divided by six is 120. The measure of the regular exterior angle is 180 minus my 120, giving me 60. And each one is 60 and I have six of them. So six times 60 is 360. So hopefully we're seeing a pattern here and your chart should look very similar to this one right here. Now I have it highlighted so that way hopefully we can see some kind of pattern going on. We see right here, 
we have the number of sides is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can keep going down forever and ever. And instead of using x in which we normally would, we are going to be using n to show us the number of sides. So there are n number of sides. We're trying to create an equation here that we can use for any polygon. So if a polygon has n sides, we can plug in any value in for n, we're going to call it an n-gon. It's kind of a weird word, but that right there is just saying, like this right here would be a 6-gon, 5-gon, 4-gon. Now, to find the number of triangles, notice we went from 3 to 1, 4 to 2, 5 to 3. How are we doing that? Well, we're taking the number of sides and we're subtracting 2. So all we're going to do to create an equation is do n minus 2, where n is the number of sides. To find the sum of the interior angles, look what we did here in red. We did 2 times 180, 3 times 180, 4 times 180. 180 is in everything. Where are we getting this 2, 3, 4? Well, it's the number of triangles in each polygon, isn't it? Therefore, what I can do is I can take the number of triangles, which is n minus 2, and multiply it by 180 to give me the sum of the interior angles. I'm just going to switch it around. I'm just going to do 180 times n minus 2. Either way, um, it's the same equation. The measure of a regular interior angle. We see that we have 360 divided by 4, 540 divided by 5, 720 divided by 6. Where are these numbers coming from? We see that 360 comes from the sum of the interior angles. 4 comes from the number of sides. See if that matches for everything else. 540, 5, 720, 6. That seems to be the case. So where, how did we get this 720 and 540 and 360? We used 180 times n minus 2. And then we divided it by the number of sides. Therefore, the equation is 180 times n minus 2 divided by n. Once we know n, we can find the measure of a regular interior angle using this equation. Now, this one looks a little uh, complicated, but it's not. So, here's what we're going to do. If we look down at these bottom ones, 3 times 120 is 360. 360. What do we notice? They're all adding up or multiplying to 360. Therefore, all the exterior angles sum to 360 degrees. No matter what number of sides there are, it always sums to 360. Now you may say, well, I can get this equate, this regular exterior angle by taking 180 minus 120, 180 minus 108. How did I get 108, 120? I used this equation. Now, I'm going to say that there is an easier way. And that way is looking at this bottom down here. Now, if we look at these bottom equations, we notice that we just said they all sum to 360 degrees, but we notice that the, the exterior angle that we want to find, 120, 90, 72, 60, they're all in that equation also. What else is in that equation? 3, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4, 5, 6, the number of sides. So in other words, what we're doing is we're taking the number of sides, n, and we're multiplying it by the exterior angle. Here, I'll just name it exterior angle EA. Yeah, I make my E's weird. And that is always equal to 360 degrees. Now, if I want to solve for this exterior angle, how do I solve for it? I just divide by n on both sides, right? Therefore, the n's cross out, giving me the equation 360 divided by n. Now, that is a lot easier than trying to do 180 times n minus 2 divided by n minus, or 180 minus that. Now, that seems a lot easier. So, now that we have that filled in, let's see if we can use it. On number 1. It says, what is the sum of the interior angles of a heptagon? So, sum of the interior angles. 
sum of the interior angles right here, 180 times n minus 2. And we also see the heptagon. Well, a heptagon is what? It's a figure with seven sides. Therefore, I know n is equal to 7. I'm going to use this equation, sum of interior angles, and plug 7 in for n. So I'm going to get 180 times 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5, and then 180 times 5 is 900. So the sum of the interior angles of a heptagon is 900 degrees. What about the sum of the interior angles of an 18-agon? Now remember, when we were doing our chart, the n-gon, n told us the number of sides. And so an 18-agon means that n is equal to 18. Simply plug that into our equation up there. We get 180 times 18 minus 2. 18, min 18 minus 2 is 16. And then 180 times 16 gives us 2,880 degrees. Moving on, we see in uh, number 2, we want to find x, the measure of angle A, and the measure of angle B. Well, we see x is here, A and B are here, and those are all on the inside of this polygon. So we're going to be dealing with the interior angles of a polygon. So what I want to do is I want to add all of these up and try to solve for that x. So in other words, the sum of the interior angles is going to be used here. And the sum of the interior angles of this one, two, three, four sided figure is when n equals 4, 180 times n minus 2, 4 minus 2, is 180 times 2, which is 360 degrees. So I know that all of these four angles added together are going to be 360 degrees. So all I'm going to do is add up what they are. So 3x plus x plus what does this sign here mean? It's 90 degrees. Perfect. It's a right angle. 90 and 90. Therefore, the equation is 3x plus x plus 90 plus 90 equals 360. And remember, we found 360 by finding the sum of the interior angles. Combined like terms, we have 4x plus 180 equals 360. Subtract the 180 to the other side, and then divide by 4, and we get x equals 45. So that's part of our answer. Remember, it asked for x, but it also asked for the measure of a and the measure of b. Well, the measure of a here is 3x. We know what x is. x is 45. So all we need to do is plug in 45 in for x. 3 times 45 equals 135. So the measure of a is 135 degrees. Measure b, we just said that this symbol right here means it's a right angle. And a right angle is 90 degrees. That's it for number two. Moving on to number three, we also see that we are again dealing with interior angles. All the angles and all the variables are on the inside of this polygon. So we're going to be using the sum of the interior angles equation again. But this time, how many sides are there? There's one, two, three, four, five sides. So we're going to be using n equals 5 to give us 180 times 5 minus 2 is equal to 540. So the sum of the interior angles, all of these, is equal to 540. So all I need to do is add all five of these equations up, or variables, and equal them to 540. So 2x plus 142 plus 2x plus 3x plus 14 plus 3x plus 14 equals 540. I'm going to combine like terms. I get 10x equals 100, uh, 10x plus 170 equals 540. Subtract 170 and then divide by 10 and I get x is equal to 37. Moving on. If the measure of an interior angle, still dealing with interior angles here, of a regular polygon is 135, find the number of sides of this polygon. So this one's a little bit different because I'm not given the number of sides. I need to find that. I need to find n, the number of sides. But I know that 
the measure of a regular interior angle is 135. Do we have an equation for that? Yeah, right here. Measure of a regular interior angle. And this right here has n, and I know that that whole thing is equal to 135. So I'm going to use this equation, set it equal to 135, and then try to solve for n. So in order to solve, I need, since it's being divided by n, I'm going to multiply both sides by n to get rid of that denominator. And then I'm going to distribute this 180 because it's 180 times, in parentheses, n minus 2. So I'm going to distribute that 180 to both terms there, giving me 180n minus 360 is equal to 135n. Now I'm going to do two steps here. I'm going to take this three, negative 360, I'm going to move it over, add it to this right side, but at the same time, I'm going to be subtracting this 135n and bring it over to this left side. So when I do that, I get 45n is equal to 360. Hopefully we saw, saw how we did that. And then simply divide by 45 and we get n equals 8. So if n equals 8, the number of sides of this polygon is 8. What is that called? Use your little chart, see if you can figure it out. Number five, this one's different also, because are we dealing with interior angles again? No, we are not. We are dealing with exterior angles. We see that they are on the outside. So interior, inside, exterior, think about it as exiting. It's on the outside. So we can't be using the interior angles equation. Do we have an exterior angle equation? Well, yeah, we do. It's right over here. We know that they all sum to 360, and we know to find the measure of a regular exterior angle, it's 360 divided by n. The thing I want to know is, what do they all add up to? What do these all sum up to? Well, we know they sum up to 360. Therefore, I'm going to take all of these equations, yes, I know there are a lot, and I kind of wrote a little small here, but that's because there are a lot here. I took every single one of these, and I added them together and set it equal to 360. When I do that, I can now combine like terms, and I get 31x's, 31x minus 12 is equal to 360, add the 12 to both sides, divide by 31, and I get x is equal to 12. Moving on, number six says, what is the measure of an exterior angle of a decagon? So measure of an exterior angle. Use your chart. Your chart will help significantly in here. As long as you have this filled in, it will be good. Measure of a regular exterior angle of a decagon. Well, how many sides does a decagon have? We see a decagon has 10 sides. So 10 sides is n is equal to 10. Therefore, 360 divided by n, 360 divided by 10, is 36 degrees. The measure of a regular exterior angle of a decagon is 36 degrees. So now we're moving on to the 4.1 practice. Make sure you do this. It is due this Friday. So make sure you do that. And hopefully you have an ample amount of time to get it done. See you next time.